I've had a lot of requests to demonstrate this stitch. It's called the linen stitch. And it makes this really cool fabric that ends up looking like uh, woven fabric instead of knit fabric. It's really nice if you want to knit something that is a little bit dense but lies really flat with no curling. And this is just a two row repeat. If you'd like this written out for you um, or printed out for you, I um, have this available over on my website as a free downloadable PDF and the link to get there is just below the video in the video description field. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a close-up at this fabric. You see here this really does look like woven fabric, much different than a normal um, stockinette stitch. That's the right side of the work. The wrong side of the work looks like moss stitch, which is still pretty. I think this would be so nice for placemats. And this is actually, I should say, this is an unblocked piece. If I were to block this or if I was using cotton and I actually ironed it out a bit, it would be really, really smooth. Let's take a look at some variations on this. This piece is interesting looking. The only difference here was that I held two strands of yarn together as if they were one while I was knitting it. And I love this. This ends up looking kind of zigzaggy. To do this one, I knit two rows in, in one color, switched to the other color, knit down and back, switched to the other color, worked down and back, and I just carried both colors up the side as I did it. I didn't cut the yarn between the two row sets. And that is a very cool effect. Now I want to make placemats that look like this. Okay. To get going with this, uh, you'll want to cast on an even number of stitches using the long tail cast on. And if you need a review of the long tail cast on, I will give you a link right here. Okay, I have 20 stitches there. And in the written instructions, uh, I tell you to start with a wrong side row, which is actually row two. And the reason for that is this, uh, this side of the cast on is prettier than this side of the cast on. And I like to make this side of the cast on be the right side of the work. So we're going to start with row two. And the stitch combination is really simple. You just got to pay attention and keep it in your head with where you are. We're going to start with purl one. The next, the, the only other stitch on this side is to slip one with yarn in back. So I'm going to move the working yarn back between the two needles and slip one. And you always slip as if to purl. I put my needle in as if to purl and slide that stitch from the left needle to the right needle without working it. Now that is the two row repeat. To get through this two row repeat we need to yarn forward again to purl one, yarn back to slip one with the yarn in back. Yarn forward to purl one. Yarn back to slip. Yarn forward, purl one, yarn back, slip. This is the pattern all the way across. Okay, one thing I want to talk about is you, you might lose track of where you are at some point. The easiest way to catch up and figure out where you are is um, counting in twos. This was purl one, slip one, 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 purl one. I know I'm on a slip one right now. Just go back to the beginning of your row, get your bearings with where, where you are. and you'll end with a slip one. So that was a wrong side row. Can't really see the pattern coming out yet. The right side row, we start with knit one, and then slip one with the yarn in front. So I'm going to pull my yarn forward between the two needles and slip one as if to purl. Yarn back to knit one, yarn forward, slip, back, knit, knit. 
you can you see your hands really get in a flow for doing this. As long as you're paying enough attention to make sure you remember what is knit and what is slipped, it is really pretty easy to work. Let's take a look at the finished fabric again. I'll tell you, if you do make a mistake in this, this is such an intricate, beautiful pattern. If you do make a mistake, it becomes pretty obvious. So keep looking at your work, uh, because if you see a mistake, you want to catch it early to rip out to get back to where you were to correct it. I have a couple of notes for you. Uh, first thing, in the written instructions, I give you a little bit of a a trick to work for the bind off row so that it looks as good as the cast on row and that's all in the instructions, nothing tricky about it. The other thing is um, I'm t I've been telling you this fabric is nice and flat and it doesn't curl. If you are seeing that the fabric is curling as you knit it, you'll need to go up a needle size or two. That's the only problem that you're having. Using small needles with yarn that's a bit too big for a tight stitch could cause some curling. Just a couple needle sizes up um, and you can use this for really anything. I mean, the, anything that you want to lie flat. You don't need a pattern for it. Just work the linen stitch. Good luck.